What's up guys? Jake Slaysman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today she's making her first appearance on the channel. This is the gun I got so I can take my girlfriend afield for them long beards next year. Pretty stoked. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so you guys know how I feel about 410s. I think they're the perfect setup for a youth uh, a new hunter, me, any turkey hunter, I don't really care how, how long you've been hunting birds. They're just the perfect setup. They're extremely light. Actually, I think my 28 gauge now is lighter, but they're extremely light. They pack a good punch with TSS changing the game. Like this gun right here, no doubt we'll have this thing firing and being able to kill a turkey at 40 yards. Now with my girlfriend... I doubt she's going to be shooting that far. We're going to work birds in so she can get comfortable, as you should with new hunters. I think too many people see TSS as an ability to, uh, I don't know how to say it correctly, but to cover a lack of woodsmanship, calling, uh, knowledge, turkey hunt skills, I guess you would call it, to cover that using TSS, being able to shoot farther, and it's not that, guys. It's just not. I, I'm a very strong advocate for working birds in. I like them under 20. I like them under 15. I like them in my face. I like them about this close, okay? Boom. I want them here. And that's going to be the same thing with my girlfriend. This will be an option that she can carry light. She'll be able to shoot to 40 if she feels comfortable. But it's going to have good leeway under 20, under 30. And I just think it's a perfect setup for her to start hunting. As she's never hunted before, uh, she went with me to Kentucky last year, as you guys know. Absolutely loved it. She loved every second about it. The peace in the woods, hearing birds hammer, calling birds. She had a great time, and she really wants to do it more. So as soon as she said that, I was looking for an option that I thought would be perfect for her to start. Uh, now, this is my firearm. It's just she can use it. So just to make that very clear, this is the Stevens 301 Turkey, and you can see I got the thumb hole stock version for her. You know, it's everything else is the same. You know, all the way up, got the stock choke in. I got a gauge pin it yet, but I really like that thumb hole stock for her to be able to have this hand right here and actually lock down in. That's a really good thing for her, so she can get. You know, really easy to be able to swing, hold steady. As you guys know how it gets during turkey hunting, they can hold up. They can do all sorts of things. You need to be able to be still on them. And this setup right there is perfect for her. Plus, it'll come up. I got a bare tooth comb riser just in case she needs one. So if she feels more comfortable with that on the gun, I'll put it on there. That way, she can get a good cheek weld, shoot the exact same every time and uh, hammer long beards and then I can focus on uh, working birds in for her and get her learning how to call eventually just getting her so she can hunt on her own that's my game plan but this model right here I've, I've been curious about this thumb hole stock for the Stevens I love my Stevens I killed a bird with it last year at, well, I don't know 15 steps somewhere in there with eights I really like how they pattern. They're lethal. That gun is an absolute shooter. Now I like the Rossi too, but I just went with the Stevens for her because I really like I like the thumb hole stock. And I think she's gonna like it too. So we haven't even shot this gun. You can see the rail's still on there. We haven't done anything with it. Uh tag's still on it. Got a really good deal on it. So what to expect with this gun going forward? This this summer. Uh, she's going to be shooting this a lot. I want her to get comfortable firing. I want her to get comfortable firing uncomfortably. I want her to be ready for turkey season. Uh, good odds her first hunt's going to be in Kentucky, but we'll see. Uh, if she's not comfortable, she can go with me again and we'll go down there. But I hope she hunts. And the game plan is it's almost going to be its own series, but we're going to get this dialed in. What load? what choke for her to hunt with 
Uh, if it's Kentucky, for Kentucky, so we'll be able to shoot tens, which I'm leaning towards having her shoot tens if she's hunting there. Give her that extra pellet count. Like I said, we don't hunt birds. We don't you shoot TSS to increase our range. We want pellet density in the ranges we already hunt if we were using a freaking blow dart gun. I don't see TSS as the beauty to snipe turkeys. I, I hate that. That's why we generally don't do long pattern tests, but we are going to do some for everyone who wants to know how far you can kill a turkey, but that's that's not turkey hunting. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people are going to get upset. I don't care. That's not turkey hunting. Turkey hunting is beating a bird, not killing him, even though he won. That's how I see it. We're going to get a reflex on there. She's. I'm going to have her look through the ones I have. I have freaking tons of them. I think I got... I mean, I got a Swamp Fox right here. I got a Burris 3. I got some AT3s. I want, I, I'm i leaning towards getting her a Howl Sun, so I just want to see if she likes the 407C or the 507. That way she can just worry about one thing, just hold the gun, and just keep it right on them waddles. And when it's time, pull the trigger. I like the Howl Sun, so it's probably what we're going to put on it, but it's up to her. Then we're just going to see if we can find that perfect setup for her, what she's looking for at 40, and then we'll see how it shoots at 20, 30, but really break it down as she's new to this. And uh, I just think it's going to be really fun to get her on the channel, get her shooting her gun, and really have her starting to learn all the things that go into turkey hunting that people overlook, all the time you spend trying to find the perfect setup all the time scouting, just the cool nuts and bolts of turkey hunt. I think that's what she's going to really love. Drop your comments below. Let me know what chokes, loads you use in your Stevens or any of your 410s. We love talking turkey, so drop your comments below. We're going to start with a stock choke and probably some Wilson Custom 10s. Uh, then we'll go from there. Uh, we got a lot of Apex left. We got a lot of Burgess Creek. We have Verdict. We have everything on the markets in here so we'll find the right setup for her what she wants i'm assuming she's going to be more like me a little bit more leeway but hey maybe she'll be a screaming core kind of gale you know what i'm saying i don't care as long as she's comfortable shooting it and she can put long beards down effectively that's all that matters that's all that ever matters i just wanted to give you a first look of a new gun you're going to see on the series quite extensively as we got to figure out what this gun likes I also want to do pattern tests with this and my Stevens side by side, same load, same choke, and see if how much they differ between a newer one and one from before they were cool, and just see how much differences there are. So this opens up a lot of doors on the channel on the Turkey Pattern Series. I'm really excited for it. Oh, I, I can't wait to get her shooting, get her used to this gun, and then eventually get to watch that bird strutting in, hopefully, hammering. So she's just sitting there shaking, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing this coming in. Oh, golly. Get to film it all. I, I can't wait for that day. So, for now, it's all we can talk about. Let me know what chokes you want to see first in this, what loads, all that fun stuff. What reflex do you think she'll use? And uh, Or just take a guess and... Let me know what you think the final judgment of this firearm will be. What reflex, what choke, what load. Uh, it's just fun to guess. I think she might be good with just the stock, in my opinion, but we'll see. That's the beauty of it. You never know what she's going to like. You never know what this is going to like. I mean, right now we got two ladies, essentially. This girl and my girl trying to figure out what they want. <laughs> it's going to be a fun series. Guys, as always, smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Make sure to share this channel. Let's keep growing. Once we get to 15K, we'll have another big giveaway. And once we get to 20K, we'll have an even bigger giveaway. So let's just keep growing, keep grinding. If you're looking for no BS, honest performance talks, the rest walks, you found the right channel. That's just how we do things. That's why we've been growing. So subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out all the playlists, all our hunts. We've had a pretty dang good year. We've got three birds on the ground so far, two different states. Two in West Virginia, one here in New York, and Hawk was close this morning, again. So he's been close <laughs> last four hunts. He's been on his own. He was close, so 
that'll be something. We'll get that bird. Most I will be out there tomorrow getting after it, and uh, hopefully one of us can put one down. I may tag out, so I really want to get one with that Beretta, but we'll see. As always, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. I can't wait to see, one, what she names this gun, two, how she likes it, three, what reflex she likes, what choke, what load. I can't wait to see the journey of getting this ready for spring 2023. This thing's going to hammer long beers. You just watch. As always, guys, catch you on the next one.